People who love the arts, we've got great news for you, and it's coming out of Independence, and here to tell us all about it is the mayor, Eileen Ware. We're here at the Royals Hall of Fame. I'm Jill Jensen, and we're so glad that you could join us. Welcome. Nice to see you, Jill. All right. What an exciting story that you have created and accomplished, and it all has to do with the visual arts. Yes, yes. Uh, well, we, I had had this idea for a while, and I thought if I was elected mayor that I would bring this forward to the council. So it's brand new. We just voted on it Monday night, but we have created a mayor's advisory commission for the visual arts. And we have a very active arts community in Independence. We have the Englewood Arts District, which we created a few years ago. And they do art walks and gallery spaces and lots of other really fine art going on in Independence. So we really felt the need to create a body who would be our voice in the arts community around the region. Well, tell us how it works. Well, um, we just created it, so we are, I'm recruiting people to serve on this commission, and it's really to advise me and the council about how we can enhance and promote what's going on in the arts community around the region. Um, so we're, we've um, determined that we will have artists on this commission as well as business people. We are looking for painters, drawers, sculptors, but also architects and people who are involved in the applied arts like graphic design, fashion design, industrial design. Um, five members will be from the Independence community and up to two members can be from outside of the Independence, the City of Independence. So we're hoping that it's going to be an opportunity for us to collaborate with some existing projects around the Kansas City metropolitan area and bring some attention and some uh, exposure to what's going on in Independence in terms of the cultural arts. Why do you think that visual or cultural arts are so important to a community and why is it specifically a passion for you? Well, I believe that there's a lot of things that contribute to really the richness of living in a community, professional sports certainly being one of those, but I believe that arts is very important to the livability and the enjoyment of living in a community and a community in Kansas City has become such a epicenter for the arts over the last few decades and especially with the Kaufman Center. Of course, we have wonderful world-class museums, the Crossroads Arts District, and we have that burgeoning in independence and um, we want to be part of that greater arts community. Lots of people um, really identify the arts as something that's important to them when they're seeking a community to visit or to live in, and um, we certainly have it and feel like it um, needs to be brought into the light a little bit more. Was it a hard sell for the council? No, it wasn't a hard sell at all. They were very supportive. Um, we are very aware of how much we have going on and the, the very high quality of art that we have going on. I did focus it specifically on the visual arts, at least to start with, because of course there's all kinds of performance art um, that you could get into, but just to make it a little bit more manageable, we're focusing primarily on the visual arts at first. Okay, so I guess the most important thing we need to know before we end is, let's say that someone is listening and they want to get involved, who do they contact? They can contact the mayor's office. Um, like I said, we're just now um, selecting the people to serve on this commission, but they can just contact me and I will be making those selections personally. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming and congratulations on, on seeing a dream come through. Yeah, thank you very much. All right. Thanks we'll have you back to see how it works. Sounds good. All right. That's all the time we have.